Hello, my name is Jitu Abraham, and in this video, I'd like to show you how the very fast update rate on the RTO series works. So on, uh, on this RTO, for this example, I've used a uh, TTL signal from the demo board here and plugged it in with, with the probe, and you can actually see that on the screen just there. Now, uh, I'd like to mention that most scopes in this class uh, have about a thousand waveforms per second of an update rate. Now, why is that important? So if you wanted to actually look for glitches or infrequent events in your board, it's very, very important that you have a very fast update rate so the scope is able to capture those kind of signals and so on. So with about a thousand waveforms per second, uh, I've sort of artificially put that into the scope. So in here, in the trigger settings, I've actually put a hold off time of about a millisecond. So that gives me about a thousand waveforms per second, if you may. Um, so here you can see uh, on the face of it, it looks very, very clean. There's hardly any spurs and so on as well. Now, as soon as I remove that hold off time on there, you'll be able to see that we see a lot of spurs coming through and we see lots of glitches, lots of artifacts that's coming from the board. Uh, so on the RTO series, you get about a million waveforms per second as standard. Now this is achieved because of our custom ASIC, which is able to actually capture all the data very, very quickly and being able to display that as fast as possible as well. So trying to minimize the blind time and so on uh, that's coming from the scope itself. Now, this, this update rate is not degraded, if you like, if you actually capture large amounts of waveforms or if you do a lot of measurements and so on. So we still try and keep a very, very fast update rate on the RTO series scopes. So there you go, uh, a rough example, if you like, on how to actually find these kind of events, uh, find the spirotic events, if you like, maybe you do some triggering and so on to try and isolate these events, if you may, and try and see where exactly they're coming from, from the board and further characterize them.